dear students class regular class ke liye ye wo tv dikhane ke liye aur aap na practice kar rahe ho yahan ek practice chal raha hai na yani wo document pe hai isko hum log aur aapna do bole subscribe karna വായിച്ചതിനുശേഷം ക്ലാസ് അറ്റൻഡ് ചെയ്യണം ഈ വർഷത്തിലാണ് നമുക്ക് പതിനൊന്ന് ചാപ്റ്ററാണ് മാതാപാറ്റിക്സ് പഠിക്കാനുള്ളത് അതിൽ ഫസ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ അരിത്തമാറ്റിക് പ്രോഗ്രഷൻ സീക്വൻസ് സീക്വൻസ് എന്നാലും എന്നാണ് വട്ട് യു മീൻ ബേ സീക്വൻസ് സീക്വൻസ് മീൻസ് ആൻഡ് അറേഞ്ച്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് നമ്പേഴ്സ് ഇൻ എ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഓർഡർ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് അറേഞ്ച്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് നമ്പേഴ്സ് ഇൻ എ particular order is known as a sequence is known as a sequence that means 1 2 3 etc etc 1 2 3 etc This is an arrangement of natural numbers. One, two, three, etc. Uh, is a set of natural numbers. One plus one, two, two plus one, three, three plus one, four, etc. etc. Now, two, four, six, eight, etc. Is it? Here, two plus two is four plus two is six plus two is eight. is a sequence is a sequence obtained by obtained by adding a fixed number fixed number to 
is just preceding terms. Preceding terms. Preceding means back terms. For example, two, five, eight, etc. Here, the fixed number is. Here, the fixed number. is 3, isn't it? The fixed number is 3. Another example. 1, 3 by 2, 2, 5 by 2, etc. Here the fixed number is 1 by 2. It is 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2. 1 plus 1 by 2. Cross multiply 2 plus 1 by 2, that is 3 by 2. Isn't it? Now 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2. Here the denominators are same, so write the numerators as it is 4 by 2, that is 2. Here the third term is, third number is 2. Now 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to cross multiply 2 into 2, 4 plus 1 by 2, that is 5 by 2, isn't it? The next number is 5 by 2. Here, the fixed number is 1 by 2. Now, let us take another example. 5 or 3, 1, Minus 1, x. Here the fixed number is minus 2. Is it? 5 plus minus 2 is 3. 3 plus minus 2 is 1. 1 plus minus 2 is minus 1, x. All these are sequences and are arithmetic sequences or arithmetic progression. In an arithmetic progression, what do you mean by arithmetic progression? A sequence is said to be an arithmetic progression. If it starts after the first term, the first term is fixed. Here, the first term of the sequence is fixed. Here, the first term is fixed. Here, the first term is fixed. The first term is fixed. And uh, the succeeding terms are obtained by adding a fixed or definite number. 2 is just preceding term. The succeeding terms are obtained by adding a fixed number. This fixed number, adding a fixed number to its just preceding terms. That is known as an arithmetic sequence or an arithmetic progression, isn't it? And the fixed number is known as common difference. Common difference and is denoted by D. Common difference is denoted by D. Right now, now that uh, sequences are in C, R, T, R, T, C, B, S, E, R, we will use the formulas, state where formulas are the difference of the text. So, we will use C, R, T, R, formulas for the example. School is about. Uh, state syllabus, state of order, and then ask me to go to the market. And then, ask me to go to the market. LCER, Bible, CBS, Sierra, 10th, Kadirna, Syllabus, Sam, 11th, Kadirna, 11th, Kadirna, 12th, Kadirna, CBS, CU, State, CU, Syllabus, Sam, CU, State, CU, Syllabus, Sam, CU, State, CU, CBS, CU, Yes, the MMC is common. That's why the MC is the standard. The CBC is the standard. It's a continuation. But the CBC is the standard. The formula 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 is the formula. The formula is the standard. The formula is the standard. Otherwise, I will follow up. I will insist on the 
Textual Forward Analysis ini yang kita asalnya kalau Textual Forward Analysis Oke okay. So Common device is obtained by What is it? Common device Lee is equal to In it term minus In it term Minus the term Just Preceding it Preceding it In it term minus the term Just preceding it is known as Common difference of an automatic notation Or We can say that D is equal to T2 minus T1 T2 minus T1 is second term minus first term is equal to T3 minus T2 is it? is equal to T4 minus T3 is equal to etc is equal to Tn minus Tn minus 1 but T2 minus T1 second term minus first term third term minus second term fourth term minus third term etc etc nth term minus n minus 1 term still a text error now later e2 to the order a2 minus a1 a3 minus a2 a4 minus a3 etc an minus a n minus 1 isn't it turn the formula some same thing चला टेक्स्ट के टी वाज़ बोल रहे हैं चला टेक्स्ट के टी वाज़ बोल रहे हैं बहुत आसान है फाइंड द कॉमन डिफरेंस ऑफ़ द फॉलोइंग एपिक्स शेयर अस्कोस्टिंग सेवन तीन अवन Here A is equal to D is equal to A2 minus A1 The rate is second down 11 minus 7 that is 4 Isn't it? 15 minus 4 D is equal to A3 minus A2 A3 is 15 minus 11 That is also 4 real formula on the equation common matter d is equal to second term minus first term and the formula on the other name is second term minus first term isn't it the terms of any pre-appeared term a1, a2, a3, etc. A be the first term, second term, third term, comma, etc. comma, end term, end term of an AP. Created terms in a word of A1, A2, A3, A4, etc. AN or T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, etc. TN. And we have to turn the word to the word. If you are not here, if you are not here, you will see the formula here. If you are not here, you will see the formula here. 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 CBS is not the answer. You will see the formula here. You will see the formula here. Saya akan kalau kita nak pakai, kami mahu kita nak follow aja. Kalau dia ada barang yang kita formula sebenarnya kita pakai sendiri. Jadi, kalau pakai sama macam ni, ni dia. Harus betul. Kalau dia students, in the last class we have discussed about what is an AP, what is an automatic progression. 
What is the common difference of an arithmetic progression? Is it? That is the first question. What is the arithmetic progression? What is the arithmetic sequence? The arithmetic sequence is the term of the term. The arithmetic sequence is the common difference. What is the basic? Let's go here. Page number 10 is the first question. Make the following number sequences from the sequence of equilateral triangles, squares, regular polyp pentagons, and so on of regular polygons. Number of sides 3, 4, 5. That is a sequence. So, the sequence of number of sides for the sequence are now. Sum of interior angles in the sequence are now. Sum of exterior angles in the sequence are now. One interior angle is in the sequence of one, one exterior angle is in the sequence of one, one exterior angle is in the sequence of one, is it? In the polygon, regular polygon, regular polygon means, polygon is in the minimum moon side side of the other, but the closed figure of polygon, closed figure of the other, what is the other one start with that? That is the other one, that is the other one, for example, Triangle, polygon, square, start with the top and then the top, square, start with the top and then the top. Then we have closed figures in the polygon. Here three sides on the top, four sides, but I have four sides. We need pentagon and polygon. Five sides, isn't it? In the lamp, polygons are. These are called polygons. In regular polygon, we are going to have these sides are going to have same height. Angles are same height. Now, polygon is going to have polygon is going to have minimum moon side of the height. Moon, 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 Polygons are closed figures having three or more sides, isn't it? Now, regular polygon means polygon is a polygon. This polygon is the angle of the sides in the same angle. This is a polygon. The triangle. This is a polygon. Triangle. Shape is a polygon. The angle of the sides is the same height. The angle of the sides is the same height. The angle of the sides is the same height. A polygon having same sides and same angles are known as regular polygons, isn't it? Our regular polygon the number of sides of three. Apoy equilateral triangle. Mono side of the polygon polygon equilateral triangle. Nine side of the polygon nine angle of the polygon square. Are they called a pentagon? Pentagon is called a polygon. The sum of interior angles, sum of interior angles of a polygon. Then I write that. For a polygon, the interior angle of a sum is 180 degree angle. For a triangle, the equilateral triangle comes out. For a equilateral triangle, the sum of the angles of a polygon is 180 degree angle. Sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. For a triangle, the interior angle of the sum of the triangle is equal to the triangle of the regular polygon. The regular polygon is equal to the triangle of the interior angle of the sum of the triangle is 180. For the triangle, it has three sides. It has three sides. Above each angle, each angle is 60 degree at 180 by 3R. Then I remember 180 divided by 3R. Right. And then I put a square of the regular polygon. Square and the 
number of sides in the sides are 4 plus like number of sides is 4 sum of the interior angles of the square are we done square is a triangle of the number of sides square is how many triangles are there the square has two triangles so sum of the interior angles is sum of the interior angles angle is equal to 180 into 2 of this 360 right I mean I know the regular pentagon pentagon having 5 sides and uh, that 5 sides are equal
kita ada untuk sequence terus lagi the sum of the exterior angles of regular polynomial ada the sequence the sequence of the sum of the exterior angles of regular polynomial is three sixty three sixty three sixty etc. Isn't it? The next we have to find is sequence of one interior angle of a regular polynomial. Sequence of one interior angle. Sum of the sequence of one interior angle. Here, sum of the interior angle is one interior. Each interior angle is six degree. Angle B, one interior divided by number of sides. No matter. Five number of sides, no matter. Three sides. So, what are we going to do? 180 divided by 3, isn't it? If we have the problem, sum of the interior angles is 360 divided by 4. Add the problem. If we have sum of the interior angles, 540 divided by 5. 540 by 5, comma, etc. That is 180 minus 3 is 63. Here 90 degree 1 0 8 degree Isn't it? Now One exterior angle One exterior angle Sequence of One exterior angle One exterior angle Exterior angles so Sum of the exterior angles so In Triangles is 360 360, 360 Or 360 So 360 by 3 sides 360 by 4 sides 360 by 5 sides etc. So, this is uh, 120 degree, this is 90 degree, this is uh, 72 degree, is it? 72 degree. 120 degree, 90 degree, 72 degree. Sum of sequence of one exterior angles, sequence of one interior angles, so that way, sum of the exterior angles, sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon. This way, here you will know that for regular polygon, sum of the interior angles in the sequence are going to be sum of the exterior angles in the sequence are going to be one interior angles in the sequence are going to be one exterior angles in the sequence are going to be for this. In the second question, look at these triangles made with dots. How many dots are there in each? This triangle is not the same. So, this dots are not the same. This triangle is not the same. First triangle is three dots. Second triangle is three, six dots. Third triangle is three, six, ten dots. First triangle is three, second is six, third is ten. If you see the other three triangles, the other dots are the same. If you see the other three triangles, the other dots are the same. Second triangle is three plus three dots. And each one of the three dots are three. One of the three triangle number of dots are three. And now the triangle number of dots are three plus additional three dots are three. So three plus three is nine. Three plus three. Another triangle is three six seven. So, 6 plus 4 
ഈ ചാപ്റ്റർ വളരെ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ചാപ്റ്ററാണ് നമ്മുടെ ഓഡിയോ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ മിനിമം ഇരുപത് മാർക്കിന് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഉണ്ടാവും ഈ ചാപ്റ്റർ അതായത് ഒരു മാർക്കിന്റെ ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ രണ്ട് മാർക്കിന്റെ ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ മൂന്ന് മാർക്കിന്റെ ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നാല് മാർക്കിന്റെ ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പിന്നീട് ആറ് മാർക്കിന്റെ ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ അങ്ങനെ നമുക്ക് ഏകദേശം പിന്നെ അഞ്ച് മാർക്കിന്റെ ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ അങ്ങനെ ഇരുപത് ഇരുപത്തൊന്ന് മാർക്കാണ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വരുന്ന ഒരു ചാപ്റ്ററാണ് നമ്മുടെ പരീക്ഷയ്ക്ക് എൺപത് മാർക്കാണ് പഠിക്കാനുള്ളത് അത് ഇരുപത്തിനാലാണ് ജയിക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് ഇരുപത്തൊന്ന് മാർക്ക് ഈ ചാപ്റ്റർ ഞാൻ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഒറ്റ ചാപ്റ്റർ രണ്ട് ചാപ്റ്റർ പരീക്ഷ പി സി ആർ പാസ്സാണ് മനസ്സിലാക്കുക ഈ ചാപ്റ്ററിൻ്റെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് മനസ്സിലായി വളരെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ചാപ്റ്റർ പക്ഷെ അങ്ങനെ പ്രയാസമുള്ള ചാപ്റ്ററാണ് അത് റെഗുലറായിട്ട് ക്ലാസ് തുടങ്ങി കഴിയുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് ഈ ചാപ്റ്റർ പ്രൊവൈസ് ചെയ്യാം ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ ബൈ